think a good culture is a lot like a beautiful sunset. Uh, hard to describe, but you know it when you see it. I think culture just is, but if it's not set from the top and that important to the CEO and the executive team, then there's, there's no chance. My job is really to try to create, a, uh, enable folks to do their best work and, and create that space for them to be the best that they can be. And that really cascades down from our CEO because that's fully his belief. And I think those are the kind of things where you get the, the magic starts to happen. So 60% of my group actually works remotely. And so we're heavy users of video conferencing and Slack. And all of these routines are done primarily through video conference and not, uh, so we don't make the, the folks that are remote second class citizen. But it is so critical because those routines that, that you establish and that the, um, the company participates in actually reinforce the culture. I think the, the things you do as a large company have to support the making it feel like it's still a small company. If our company ever feels like we're faceless and you can't just pop into to Steve Beauchamp's office and have a conversation, I think that's when we're going to feel like a large company and we protect really, um, we, we protect against that a lot.